all that. Meantime, though, Facebook shaking off investor fears of late and many potential headwinds that it had been facing. The stock keeps chugging upwards. Uh, shares over the past year have increased almost 45 percent. During that time, the market cap of Facebook has increased nearly $200 billion. The company's out with quarterly results on Wednesday. And joining us right now ahead of that to talk about that Facebook rally is Daniel Flax. He is the Neuberger Berman Senior Research <coughs> Analyst. Good morning to you. So let's let's do Good Facebook. Morning. We'll talk maybe a little Apple sure. as well. I know it's on the back of what looks like red arrows that are going to open us up in about an hour when the market does open. But Facebook has been on this wild ride. We all would have these talk about the terrible headlines every day, and yet the stock would keep going up. Andrew, I, I think what's notable about Facebook is that it's delivering value for the users, for the advertisers, right. and of course the people on the platform. And that ultimately is what's driving the growth. Now, if we think about what the company needs to do better, it needs to improve the level of transparency, it needs to explain how the business model works, right. it needs to uh, explain to, to governments. But at the end of the day, it's delivering value. At, at, at this price, at $214, what kind of overhang is built, a regulatory overhang is built into that stock? Is, is there any? I think there is a moderate regulatory overhang, and of course with the U.S. presidential election later this year, that's right. going to be part of the story the whole year. But I think if we look into this quarter and the ensuing quarters, if the company is able to deliver attractive revenue growth and earnings per share, we think the stock can work its way higher uh, through this year and right. into next how, year. How much higher are we talking? We think there's substantial upside for the stock over the next couple of years. Okay. Can you give us a 12-month target? We can't give uh, a specific target, but what, what we can say and what I, what I would say is that if you think this company is able to innovate and right. deliver value across core Facebook, Instagram, longer-term WhatsApp, right. Messenger, there's tremendous shareholder value. How much value. of this is an operational story, meaning that they do have to innovate? You know, one of the things that I think has been overlooked over the past year is actually even core Facebook was updated and actually updated successfully in a way that I'm not sure was fully appreciated even at the time. I think that's right. All of these platforms, and if you look at Facebook, Facebook, uh, Instagram, WhatsApp Messenger, each one of these platforms has to be constantly uh, invested right. in, innovated in. So nothing stands still. And if we look at the history of the industry, we all recall America Online a couple of decades back. Not all the platforms have been able to move from era to era. Right. And, and so we think Facebook can. Okay. If I gave you $10,000 to invest in Facebook or $10,000 to invest in Apple, what would you do? Seven, 70 percent in Apple, 30 percent in Facebook. Really? And I say so here that, we are talking. Yeah. You're so bullish here, but you're even more bullish about Apple. Well, you asked me to choose. I and know. So I'm giving, you, I'm giving you my view. And, and I say that, Andrew, because Apple, this is another story of reinvention. Think about uh, the, the AirPods, the watch. Remember the iPod nearly two decades ago. <laughs> right. Apple takes categories that are viewed as mature, and it changes the story. It's about the user experience. And so if we think about it, it's the iPhone. The franchise is better than people think services. We think this is a significant uh, opportunity over the next several years. And wearables, we think they're just getting started, and that takes them into newer areas like healthcare. How much, though, is this is that view relying upon 5G and this super cycle that people talk about potentially happening as early as this fall? 5G could be an incremental positive, but remember, everyone is going to have a 5G phone. And so if you think about Apple, it's really about the integration of the hardware, the software, and the services. Right. And that is, is what, what it's about. The other piece that I think is important to remember is that this ecosystem is incredibly powerful. Apple has paid out over $155 billion to users, uh, to, to the application developers since 2008. Right. That's harder for, for people to appreciate, but that, I think, is a, a very significant part of the story. Right. Daniel, thank you for coming in. Thank Appreciate you. It. Great to see you. I may go on Facebook it just as a sh vote with my feet, as a show of support for the company. As an enemy of my the left hates Facebook all of a sudden. <laughs> what, what's wrong? What? That's what's going to get you on Facebook. Possibly. Stay strong, Mark. I, li I like, I, I, suddenly I like that. I like Cheryl. I think, you know, I may, I may do it just, is it fun to go on there? Will I be? Will I get these ads where I, I, I don't know what day you're the election's block on? Block everybody. <laughs> you're Can I block, block people on, on I mean, Facebook? You're going to start getting messages. Oh, maybe I won't. From the liberal that. left that you you say yeah. you know, oh. the enemy, right? I, I get I get them on Twitter. <laughs> God, there's a lot of Twitter hate.